everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Nicole Ashley and this is Nikki Ash Beauty and today I wanted to uh, show you some uh, makeup that I've been playing with lately and testing it out versus the Le Beige Healthy Glow and this is in like coral and the second one is the Natasha Denona Golden Highlighter Trio I didn't pick up the eyeshadow palette because I wasn't really I'm not really into um, warm tones maybe they'd be more suiting now that I changed my hair color from blonde to this brownish red color um, but I don't know maybe when it goes on sale I'll pick it up but as of right now I'm not going to um, so I do have most of my makeup already set um, and if this is something that you're interested in please like and subscribe I'd love to have you join me um, I know I haven't been that consistent with actually making videos, but it's been kind of difficult because I finally started a new job about the end of April, and it's just been a little bit busy. Um, so hopefully I can be more consistent now that things are settling down. So um, I do have my base makeup on because I did go to work this afternoon or this morning. Um, and I just got home not too long ago, so I have uh, foundation on. I do have blush on. I don't even know if you could tell anymore if it's worn off. I'm wearing the Patrick Ta blush, um, and I did my eyebrows, but I have no eyeshadow makeup on. I didn't do any bronzer or anything like that. So, with that being said, let's get started. So this is the Healthy Glow uh, palette from Chanel. Ooh. I forgot I put the plastic thing back on it. So this is what it looks like. And this is nothing new to most people who buy luxury makeup. Um, so, but it does have a smell to it. It's really pretty smell. It's not overwhelming or anything like that. So I know some people like to go in individually and uh, use it with the highlighter, the bronzer, and then the blush. Um, but because I already have uh, blush on and I want to use that Natasha Denona highlighter. I'm just going to swirl it and use it as bronzer for right now. So let's do a little swatch with it. So this is what it looks like mixed together. And I think it's a really pretty warmish color. So yeah, so let's swirl it all together. Tap off my brush. And then I have my makeup mirror right here. And I'm just going to kind of dot it and dab it in. Because like I said, I do already have my blush on. And this definitely gives you like a nice soft glow, I think. And it's perfect for summer. Kind of went in heavy handed there, but that's okay, we'll buff it out. I should have clipped my hair back. I'm just gonna throw my hair up real quick. And that's what it looks like. I'm gonna zoom in. So you can see it right through here. And I put it on my forehead and right through there. I think I was a little bit lighter handed on the left side. So, now I went overboard. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like on the face. And I put some on the forehead. 
and over here. So I do film in all natural lighting and sometimes I use an artificial light depending on the lighting outside. But today it's beautiful and sunny here in Houston, Texas. So I didn't need to use my artificial light. Um, but yeah, so that's the uh, light coral. And I did pick up the medium rose and the medium coral too, but I haven't tried it out yet. Um, go figure. But it's something that I do plan on trying out and I'll make a video when I do because um, I heard really good things about those colors as well. I kind of want to add a little bit of blush to the face, so I'm going to go back in, just clean off my brush real, real quick. And I'm using the BK Beauty 103 brush, and I like this brush because it's kind of a little bit flatter and you can get into that, that blush color. And it doesn't really pick up too much. Um, and just do a little bit of this coral color. And then do the same thing. I really, really love the smell of the Labouche, um these palettes. Okay. And yeah, so just added a pop of that coral. Okay, so now we're gonna go into this Natasha Denona Golden Highlighter Trio. I'm not really a highlighter girl, but I really liked this palette. Um, I thought it was different. I liked the colors as well. So first we have Pearl. And then we have Sun Glow. And then we have Bronze. So I've actually played around with this palette, if you can tell. And I made a short with it, with the swatches. I really like the bronze color. It's actually not as pigmented. Well, it is pigmented, I take that back. But you can, it works on my skin tone and I have fair light to medium skin tone. Um, but I think I'm gonna go in with the Sun Glow since we are using the Le Beige palette and I kind of have that sun-kissed bronze look going on. Um, so I'm gonna use my finger. You can use a brush, but it doesn't pick up as much product on the brush. Um, and you can use a damp sponge and that definitely picks up a lot more. Or you could use your finger. I'm not generally a fan of using my fingers, um, but because it doesn't really pick up on a brush, I'm going to. So this is what the sun glow looks like. Um, let me swatch them for you real quick and just get this other swatch off. So this is Sun Glow, Pearl, and Bronze. So Pearl, Sun Glow, and Bronze. And we're going to go in with this one. And I think I used my middle finger. so. Just gonna dab it right here. I don't like to put it too far down my face because then it starts to look a little bruisey. So I'll just put it right there and do the same on this side. And there you go. So you can see, hopefully you can see the highlighter right there. And it kind of like blends into my skin with this um, Le Beige palette. But yeah, that's all I have today. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about the Le Beige 
palette in like coral or if you picked it up in any other color what or just in general what you think about it and have you tried the Natasha Denona golden highlighter trio I don't think a lot of people pick this one up but if you have let me know your thoughts on it I think that you get a lot of product and you probably won't ever go through it all but um, I don't really recommend it honestly I would save your $55 because I believe that's how much it was if you are going to get something from the gold golden um, palette or the golden collection that Natasha Denona came out with I would have just I should have just spent the extra like $11 I think it is and got the, the eyeshadow palette but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one bye